So stick around for that. But first, let's talk about a game we did not get to talk about during last week's show, which is Fire Emblem Heroes on the 3DS. No. Which is why we have Brendan Hooray, Graver here. We didn't, here. We didn't all get to play it. No. And we only didn't all Brendan get to did. say it. That was a see it. That was the issue. Yeah, because I was thinking beforehand, I was like, if this is playable on the show floor, it's going to be very weird because a slow turn-based yeah. strategy does not demo well. No. Right. Uh, but they had like a behind. Uh, yeah, it was, really, it was really nice. And as a Fire Emblem fan, I was hesitant a bit skeptical of the whole uh, uh-huh. Hogwarts element to <laughs> uh, Fire Room 3 Cheese Pizza, as I like to call it. Oh, uh-huh. no. Um, but I walked away going, wow, this probably has the most depth of any Fire Room game ever, and that's even without children. So you, you scared me a little bit, though. When you f- came from that appointment, mm-hmm. you know, I'm for people who are new to the show, I've played every single Fire Emblem game in the series. I have Thracia, I have played Gaiden in Japanese, all of that. <laughs> Stuff surrounding it, right? Like, right. don't make me plant a little tree and water it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but on the weekends, you can explore and talk to the other members of the houses and students. And uh, uh, the triage rep said, actually, if you're in the, well, the Blue Deer, I think the Stags, if you're in one house, yeah, Baratheon, you, but you really yeah. like <laughs> the uh, uh, the other, like the Golden Eagles, I, I'm messing up the names. If you like one unit from that other house, Jesus. 